Good morning, team. Happy Friday and welcome to day 65 of your home workout. So today's focus is going to be all about the lower body and core. So grab yourself a mat or a towel and a mini band. If you haven't got a mini band, don't worry about it. There will be plenty of options for you. So we've got a little bit of interval training mixed into it just to raise the heart rate and just to get that Friday sweat on as well. So don't forget to tag us in your selfies and in those OTB stats as well. We love to seeing all your progress. Have an awesome weekend and an awesome Friday and I'll see you soon. Orange Nation, we are ready to work. But of course, before we get into all of that, we have to make sure our body is properly warmed up before we crush today's workout. This dynamic warm up is gonna consist of six minutes long, made up of three exercises for two rounds. Lindsay, you ready? Ready. Let's do it. So Lindsay is grabbing a toolbox, or of course you can use anything that is gonna be safe for you to step up on. You can even use the stairs that are in your house. So when she's performing her step ups, Notice that her foot is all the way on. That includes her heel. We're gonna do this for 30 seconds on one leg and then 30 seconds on the other. That looks good, Lindsay. Moving on to keep our body warmed up is going to be our knee lift to an extension. This is gonna challenge our balance. So this is 30 seconds on the leg, on, the, on your right leg, and then 30 seconds on the left. You're gonna feel this in the backside of your body, your glutes, the hamstrings, and the calves. That's gonna simulate the exercises that we have later for you. Then finally, we'll transition to our butt kicks. And notice this one's gonna get your heart rate up. Lindsay's pumping her arms, she's smiling, she's excited. And then of course, if you need your option of jumping, it's not for you, we'll just slow it down and focus on bringing your heel towards your glutes. Lindsay, you warmed up? Ready. Let's get it.
This block is focusing on lower body, but we're gonna use the mini bands. The mini bands are so important because it's gonna focus on strengthening our stabilization muscles, which is ultimately gonna help prevent injuries. Lindsay, you ready to go? Ready. Sounds good. So notice Lindsay is gonna begin sitting down for safety when she's putting on her mini band. Today's location is what we call the mid band, which is right below the kneecap. Our first exercise is going to be our abduction. Mostly shifting all of her weight in just a single leg, and the opposite leg is going to extend out, focusing on the glutes and the hip. Great job, Lindsay. Iso walk. It's an iso squat monster walk. So the pattern on this one is bringing one foot towards the inner part, and then you're going to step out. So it is four steps forward and then four steps coming back. That equals one, and we have a total of six. Jump squats is coming for us next. Focus on explosive strength. We're going to sit back in our heels, jump up as high as we can, land soft, pressing your knees out with the mini bands. Option is going to be to squat, coming up on your toes for a calf raise. Our last exercise is going to be the good morning. Starting in our standing set position, feet directly underneath your hips, fingertips lightly behind your ears, shifting your hip back and standing right back up. The range of motion is going to be different for everybody. Just trying to get your chest parallel to the ground and then return to that starting position. Lindsay, how do those mini bands feel? Fantastic burn. Woo, let's do this. Do anything you don't, you don't know I 
Breathe in the night, let's take a flight. We can go high, Vegas to Cali or even Dubai. Don't ask why, just say yeah. Anywhere that you can think of, we there. Facing our fears as we go on this ride. Loving this life, I'm ready for the night. I'm ready tonight. We've been hanging on for quite some time. It's gonna be a very long night. And I got everything, so now I feel right. If you're ready, then let us party for the night. If you're ready, Time. I'm ready, so let's party for the night. 
If I did too, take a chance. I wanna dance, so I'ma ask if you would care too. Okay. Here's the truth, I'm feeling nice and you looking right, so let's share the room. A cup of ice and a double shot of whatever's got me in the mood. It just feels good, living your life like you know that you should. Ride that wave, sip champagne, out for the night 'cause we just got paid. Club on slate, nothing to say, just good vibes. We live in a blade, doing whatever we want on this ride. Loving this life, I'm ready for the night. I'm ready tonight. Been hanging on for quite some time. It's gonna be a very long night, and I got everything, so now I feel right. If you're ready to let us party for the night, if you're ready to have an awesome time, I'm ready, so let's party for the night. If you're ready to have an awesome time, I'm ready, so let us party for the night. All right, team, just like the treadmill portion at Orange Theory, it's time to get into the Orange Zone with our cardio block. This is going to last for one round, and it's going to be six minutes long. Are you ready, Joe? I'm ready. So the first exercise is going to last for two minutes. You have a push, like we call it Orange Theory. You're going to go into a speed skater to triple high knee. Once again, this lasts for two minutes. Joe is jumping side to side, taking those knees up. Try to get them to about your core navel level in order to squeeze. And the next exercise, we're going to go back to base, taking it to active recovery. You're going to do a around the world lunge that's going to last for 90 seconds. So Joe is going to step out into lunge position, make sure that heel is flat. You're squeezing your quads. Then you want to go lateral. After, you, after that, you're going to go backwards into that lunge. So you're stepping forward, you're stepping side to side, and you're also stepping back. Your option is to reduce your range of motion. The next exercise is going to be a push. You have a pop jack to triple plank jack. So Joe is in a plank jack position and then jumping right into that pop jack. This exercise lasts for one minute. Following that, we're going to go take it back to that base. Once again, we're going around the world with those lunges, stepping forward, side to side, and back in the same fashion for one minute. And then we have the ultimate all-out burpee. That's right. This exercise is going to get you into that orange zone, really spiking the heart rate, driving you to the anaerobic zone. How do those burpees feel? Wonderful. Come on. All right, team, this block is one round, six minutes long. Let's get to work.
For this eight minute core block, we're gonna challenge one of the most important anchors of our body, and we're gonna add a little spice by adding a mini band. So we're gonna have five exercises. Didi, you're gonna start with the mini band around your toes. So that means sit down, make sure it's nice and safe. We're gonna place the band around the toes and the balls of the foot. First exercise is a bicycle crunch, laying flat, always making sure the belly button is pulled into the ground. Elbows are nice and wide. We're gonna rotate, bring one elbow towards the opposite knee. Again, keeping the back nice and flat with tension on the band. 12 reps total here. Then we're gonna relax our shoulders. Arms go up for a dead bug. Knees are at 90 degrees. We're gonna straighten out one arm and the opposite leg, making it nice and wide, slow and controlled. Bring it back and switch sides. Again, back is always flat. Think tortoise, not the hare. 12 total. Then we're going to come into our reverse crunch. So our palms are flat for stability. Same tension on the band. We're lowering the heels down, slow and controlled, and crunching back up. Belly button's flat, and that band is nice and tight. 12 total reps. After those three exercises, we're gonna move the band from the toes up to the wrist position for isometric holds. So again, right where you would wear that watch, we're gonna lay nice and flat. We're gonna do a static crunch with scissors. So tension through the band, shoulders pop up off the mat, chin stays lifted. We're gonna drop one leg down towards the floor and all together moving, switching legs. Tricky part here again, the back stays flat. 12 total with the isometric hold. To finish, we're gonna bring both legs up. We're gonna crunch through the core to drive the band up towards the toes. It's a little movement, but it's important because it all stays contracted. 12 total here, and Didi, how did that feel? I'm on fire. Let's get you guys on fire too. Eight minute core block, get to work.
right, team, it's time to get into that orange zone. Just like the treadmill, this is a cardio block. One round, six minutes long. We're going to start with that push. So you're going to get into a pop jack, two plank jack. You've got a triple plank jack here, jumping those feet out and in. Your option is to step back and step in with those feet. Perfect, Joe. Now the next exercise, we're going to take it to base. You have a all around the world lunge. Joe is going to step forward with both feet planting the heel to the floor, then step lateral, as well as stepping backward into that same lunge. Your follow-up exercise is going to be a push. So we're gonna go to those speed skaters to triple high knee. Jump, Joe is jumping lateral and then stepping, if you need an option, taking those knees up, driving into that core. This one here lasts for two minutes. Then we're going to take it back to base for another 90 seconds. Still the same all around the world lunge. Following that, we've got a 30 second all out burpee, creating plenty of explosion in the body, jumping up into that plank and then exploding through those jump squats. Once again, this is one round, six minutes long. Joe is sweating. Let's get to work.
to this point, but what's equally important is the flexibility block. With this one, primarily, we're going to be working the posterior chain, those hamstrings, glutes, and lower back. Our focus here is to make sure that we reduce injury, especially hunching our shoulders over, hitting next episode on our favorite streaming service. We have four movements that we're going to hold for 20 seconds each. Am you ready to do this? Oh, yeah. All right, we're gonna start things off with our standing overhead side reach. We're gonna bring our arms overhead. We're gonna grab that wrist, nice deep breath, leaning to our left side to start off, working the lats and the obliques. As we get it a little bit deeper into that stretch, each inhale on the exhalation, we're gonna see if we can get a millimeter further into that. Now, whatever range of motion is available to you, use that. Then we're gonna go ahead and switch sides. Nice deep breath, chest nice and tall. And let's come back to that starting position. Next up, we have our standing toe reach. Nice deep breath, feet together, shoulders back nice and proud. We're gonna hinge from the waist, keeping that chest nice and tall, reaching for those toes. Working primarily with our hamstrings, glutes, a little bit with the lower back here. Now, Emily has ridiculous flexibility. You may not have that available to you. So you can always go to the calves, maybe behind the knees. Again, whatever's available to you at that moment. Very nice. Let's go ahead, walk those hands out to a high plank. We're gonna get ourselves ready for a downward dog. We're gonna start from our high plank position, walk the hands back just a little bit, pressing through the hands, raising those glutes in the air. Legs are straight to really emphasize that stretch on the hamstrings. And for an added benefit on the calves, we're gonna add a running addition to it, alternating bending each knee. Nice, slow, and controlled here. Last but not least, we have a runner's lunge with a rotation. We're going to step one foot out nice and wide, dropping that back knee down to the ground. We're going to bring both hands down to the inside of that right leg, pressing that elbow into the right knee. We're going to reach up with our left hand, reaching for the sky. This is going to work the thoracic spine, really making sure we keep it nice and safe. Holding it for 20 seconds, bringing it back down, and then switch sides. You have four exercises, 20 second hold for each. Go ahead and cool down, you've earned it. Make up your mind what you're searching for. Sticky clay is a vein. Searching for is it money? Is it something like freedom? 